The hiring process is even more of a challenge for new restaurants. They're not only competing against other local news spots, but also established restaurants that are understaffed. I can't wait to serve this food to Boca right now. It will take around 60 employees to staff. We all need extreme time crunch. Red Pine. This is going to be my playground. <laughs> a new Chinese restaurant opening in Boca Raton March 1st. This has kind of been my childhood dream in a sense. Is facing the restaurant industry's biggest challenge. Yep. Hiring. Servers, uh, uh, bartenders, uh, and definitely in the back of the house too with, uh, with cooks. Chefs Michael Shank and Chi Chan both coming from Farmer's Table under the same ownership. Let's get this place hired so we can get it going. Say the industry as a whole hasn't been the same since COVID. Many restaurant employees laid off during shutdowns never came back. It has taken its toll and it's it, we're still struggling to recover from that. Data from the National Restaurant Association reveals the industry is short 450,000 employees. More than 60% of dine-in restaurants say they don't have enough staff to support demand. Two sandwiches on Raisin Walnut. It put Melanie Hackman's plan to expand her cafe and bakery aioli on hold. We're at a point now where we need to grow because of the demands of the new traffic that we have in the area, and it's hard to add to our team and grow. Hackman said the new spot opening will be takeout only. We're modeling anything we do in the future towards having less staff. Working through this shortage. Have an awesome day. While making sure customer experience isn't compromised. Our bar layout here. And um, employees feel valued. I want the people to come in and be invited to kind of join this, you know, new family that, you know, we're all kind of creating uh, in Boca. Michelle Quesada, WPTV News Channel 5.